Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out a couple of tips on how to use a drum rack, make some cool hip hop drums. Let's go. All right, I'm inside Ableton. First things first, what is a drum rack? Well, a drum rack is a place where you can load all different kinds of instruments and samples into these little squares. And there's over over a hundred of them. So you can do some pretty creative things. How to load up a drum rack? Well, you hold control shift T, open up brand new MIDI track, go to your instruments folder and drag that drum rack on in. Once it's in there, you can start loading this bad boy up with some samples. For example, this kick can go right here. And now as long as record is enabled, I can start playing this kick with my MIDI keyboard. Oops, wrong, wrong key, there it is. So like I said, you could drop any instrument or sample inside of any one of these cells, okay? Now, first tip on using drum racks. And this is a tip I think that's good for any type of MIDI instrument. Use Velocity Tool. The Velocity Tool is a MIDI effect in your categories folder here. It's called Velocity. Drag it on in. These are my preferred settings, so take a look. It's got the out high at 110, comp at negative 0.15, and random. This introduces random modulation to the note velocities. And this is important because everything in here is the same velocity because I drew this beat with my mouse. So let's listen to it without the velocity tool on and you're gonna hear it sounds kind of robotic. And with the velocity tool, it's gonna just give it that little bit of randomness in velocity. So here it is. Very subtle difference, but it makes a huge difference in the mix. Tip number two, each one of these cells can also accept audio effects. So this kick sounds really weak. So I'm gonna throw a saturator on there with a little bit of drive. Let's hear the kick now. Yeah. Now it's pumping much better. All right. I also have this drum rack that I made for hi-hats. And this is the pattern I've drawn. So same thing, velocity tool is on, give it a little bit of human nature. Let's hear how that sounds. This is without it. Yeah, it's like everything's dun, 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 and it, there's no human element to it. So add a little velocity to it, a little randomness. So now not every single note's coming in at the same velocity. All right, next tip. On these little fast hats here that I've drawn. Uh-huh. And even on these closed hats, they're all just kind of coming in at the center. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a free plugin. One of my favorite free, free plugins. I'll put a link in the description. It's called pancake. I'm sure many of you probably use this. If you don't, you should probably get it. Um, it's a lot like the auto pan in Ableton, but this is great because you can, you can control the dry, wet, of the effect. So let's put that in on the closed hat. All right, pancake will load up. And let's open this up and take a look. All right, this is gonna add a little bit of movement to those closed hats. So let's solo them out. That's a little extreme for me. It's going from left to right. But if I speed it up a little bit, maybe do some quarter notes. Mess around with the mix knob. 
the mix knob lets is basically the dry wet knob that sets the balance between the processed and unprocessed signal. So let's hear it now. All right, so those hi-hats are moving around a little bit, create a little bit of texture, a little bit of movement within the drum track. Let's do the same thing on the others. I can actually hold control C, copy that, and we will paste it onto the, the fast hi-hats. There it is. Let's give it a listen. All right, next tip. Inside of session view here, if you open up the drum rack with this little button here, you get your own little mixer for the drum rack itself. So you can individually control volumes. And you can add audio effects right from in here. Very convenient. All right, next and final tip has more to do with sampler or simpler, I should say. So inside of each one of these cells opens up a simpler device. Okay, so let's listen to this hat. And inside this little control option here, you have a filter. Once you activate this, you have a bunch of options. I'm gonna change this to a low pass filter and I'm going to scoop out all the unnecessary low end information that we don't really need for the hi-hat. So let's solo that hi-hat out. Here it is a little extreme. But you see how you can do your tone shaping options right here in the simpler by using the controls option. You can also transpose. Now, instead of, instead of opening an EQ8 and putting it after this, you have the option right here in simpler. All right. Well, that's all I got for you today. Hope this was a little helpful if you're starting out in Ableton, starting to use drum racks, and starting to make some hip-hop beats. Daddy, I hope you guys... You have to cut and glue this. <laughs> all right, sorry about that. Well, I hope this was helpful, and especially for those of you just starting out using drum racks, um, I suggest you watch other YouTube videos for some other tips and tricks. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe for more. If you enjoy this type of content, just let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to make more. All right, see you next time.